As election day got close, John Boehner was apparently worried enough that he authorized the select committee to investigate Benghazi. I salute Special Operations Speaks as one of the most influential groups who kept the pressure on until the investigation was finally opened. This means there will finally be an effective investigation of the Benghazi massacre. And you know what that means. The Democrats are going to unleash the hounds of hell against anyone who tries to discover the truth of what Obama and Hillary and others did that resulted in the massacre of Americans in Benghazi. The Democrats have no interest in truth or justice, and you can bet that they are already preparing a massive campaign of lies and smear tactics to destroy the credibility of anyone who presents evidence that may reduce their political power. It is truly sad that the Democrat Party has sunk so low that the murder of Americans by terrorists is nothing but a political tool to them. Have you noticed that it's been well over a year since the brutal attack and not one person has been arrested and not a single retaliatory strike has been made? Can anyone tell us anything the Obama administration has done as far as investigating Benghazi? Anything? Benghazi is Watergate times 10. It is the presidential crime of the century, and the shameful Democrats are protecting it like a newborn baby. <laughs> Oops, that's not a good comparison. <laughs> Democrats don't protect babies. Now, I believe the Democrats are hell-bent on making sure Americans never learn the truth about Benghazi. Trey Gowdy is going to head up the committee, and I guarantee you the Democrats are going to pull out every filthy weapon in their arsenal to destroy that man both professionally and personally. If Americans want justice, then Americans need to tell Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid to sit down and shut up. The hounds of hell belong to the Democrats and are made up mainly of the lapdog media who exist only to serve Obama. They will pervert justice. The Democrat leaders will do their best to poison the evidence. Oh, how far American politics have fallen from the days of our founding fathers. More than anything, the USA needs to return to the God and country principles upon which this nation was founded. A simple but effective step would be <clears throat> to just restore the Ten Commandments to national prominence. A national declaration that we are committed to speaking truth and doing what's right. But that would be a whole new battle because if Americans ever really took the Ten Commandments to heart, <laughs> the federal government would suddenly start looking really bad. This is Wild Bill for America saying thank you to those who have donated to help get the message out. Thank you for watching and America bless God again.